Tired of generic stock photos? Imagine having a tool that lets you customize every single visual in your lesson. Simply describe what you need and watch it appear. Whether it's a photorealistic image of Shakespeare at a modern coffee shop to spark a class discussion, a simple, accurate cell diagram that finally makes sense, or even turning yourself into a cartoon explorer for your weekly update, you can now design the perfect engaging visual for any teaching moment. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's Google's incredible new AI image tool and it's about to become your favorite teaching assistant. Hi everyone and welcome to Tech Tools for Educators. I'm Govinda Raja Karyapa and in this video, I'm going to give you the ultimate step-by-step -step guide to using a revolutionary tool from Google, popularly known as Nano Banana. We'll cover everything from creating visuals from scratch to customizing your existing materials. And the best part, it's easy, fun, and completely free to get started. Let's dive in and change the way you create content for your classroom forever. Part one, what in the world is Nano Banana? All right, first things first. What is this tool with the funny name? Nano Banana was the internal code name for Google's latest and most powerful AI image model. Its official name is Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, but the code name stuck because it's just that memorable. Think of it as a super smart artist built right into Google Gemini. You give it a text description, a prompt, and it generates a high quality image. But what makes it a game changer for us as educators are three incredible features, subject consistency. If you create an image of a historical figure or even yourself and then ask for edits, the face and key features stay consistent. No more weird distorted faces on the second try. In painting and editing, you can upload an existing photo and just tell it what to change. Add a volcano to a landscape, put a historical document in someone's hand or change the text on a sign. World knowledge. Because it's a Google tool, it has a vast understanding of the world. This allows it to create context-aware images that are incredibly detailed and accurate. This isn't just about making pretty pictures. It's about creating precise, effective, and engaging educational materials with zero design skills required. Part two, getting started in 60 seconds. Getting this power into your hands is surprisingly simple. You don't need any special downloads or software. It works right in your browser. Step one. Access. Just open up your computer or phone and navigate straight to gemini.google.com. If you're on mobile, you can download the dedicated Gemini app. Step 2. Authenticate. Sign in with your Google account. Quick recommendation for educators. If your district uses Google Workspace, I highly recommend using your school email. Google often rolls out advanced features and better data privacy protections, specifically for school accounts. Step 3. Prompt. Once you're on the main Gemini page, you'll see a prompt box front and center. You can immediately begin your request with the magic phrase, create an image of self-correction. Note, sometimes you'll also see a dedicated create image button or a little icon in the tool menu. And just like that, you are ready to start creating. Let's stop talking about it and try it out with some real world classroom examples. Part three, creating custom classroom visuals from scratch. Okay. This is where the magic happens. Let's say you're a teacher who needs fresh visuals for your lessons. Forget spending hours searching through stock photo websites. Let's create exactly what we need. Screencast demo one. History. I'm teaching a lesson on the powerful Vijayanagara Empire. I need a powerful opening image. I'll type in the prompt, host types on screen. Create a photorealistic cinematic image of a powerful, the Vijayanagara Empire in Southern India from 1336 to 1646 founded by brothers Harihara and Bukaraya. Its capital was Vijayanagara, modern day Hampi, Karnataka. The scene should be bustling with senators in togas, merchants and citizens. The morning sun should be casting long shadows. Let's hit submit and look at that. The level of detail is incredible. I can see the architecture, the clothing, the lighting, it's perfect. Now let's refine it. Make the same image, but add a young student in the foreground, looking on in awe. And just like that, it keeps the entire scene consistent, but adds our new element. This is perfect for storytelling and helping students visualize the past. Screencast Demo 2. Science. Now for a science class. I need an infographic to explain photosynthesis to my 6th graders. Create a simple, colorful infographic diagram explaining the process of photosynthesis. Use clear labels for sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and glucose. The style should be a clean, cartoon illustration suitable for middle schoolers. This is amazing. 
it's visually appealing, it's accurate, and it would have taken me at least an hour to create this in another program. I can download this and put it directly into my slides or print it as a handout. Screencast Demo 3, Language Arts. Need a creative writing prompt? Let's give our students something to spark their imagination. A whimsical, detailed illustration of a library inside a giant, ancient tree with glowing lanterns and books floating between branches. The style should be magical and enchanting. How could a student not be inspired by this? You can generate a unique story starter for every single student if you wanted to. Part 4. Supercharging your existing materials from scratch. Creating images from scratch is powerful, but what about all the materials you already have? This is where Nano Banana really shines. Screencast Demo 4. Editing a photo. I have this generic photo of a world map. It's a bit boring. I'm going to upload it. I'll give it a prompt. In this image, add cartoon-style pushpins on the following locations. The Great Wall of China, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and the Ram Mandir of India. Also, add the title Wonders of the World in a fun font at the top. Instant customization. I just turned a boring stock photo into a perfect visual aid for my geography lesson. Screencast Demo 5. Personalizing a lesson. Let's get personal. I'm going to upload a photo of myself. Now for a fun prompt that's been going viral. Turn me into a 1 7th scale collectible figurine in the style of a famous toy brand. Place me on a desk next to toy packaging that says Professor Pixel, the tech explorer. This is fantastic. Imagine using this for your class teacher of the week announcements on your class website or as a fun avatar. It maintains my likeness perfectly, which is what this tool is known for. Screencast Demo 6, Diwali Wishes. Let's get personal wishes for Diwali. I'm going to upload a photo of myself again. Make a personal Deepavali photo look incredibly grand, magical and professionally lit, like a high-end editorial shot. Take the uploaded personal Deepavali photo. Enhance it to have a magical, almost ethereal glow, emphasizing intricate lighting from dias and fairy lights. Add a sense of depth and bokeh, making the background beautifully soft while the subject remains sharp and vibrant. Aim for a rich, warm color palette with sparkling highlights and deep, inviting shadows. Make it look like a breathtaking, professionally shot image that evokes wonder and celebration. This is fantastic. Imagine using this for your phones for sharing the wishes to all your loved ones in this Diwali. So there you have it. From creating stunning historical scenes and scientific diagrams to personalizing your classroom materials, Google's Nano Banana technology inside Gemini is one of the most powerful and practical AI tools for educators today. It lowers the barrier to creating professional quality, engaging and highly specific content, giving you more time to do what you do best. Teach. However, a word of caution. Always double check the images for accuracy and cultural bias as AI models can sometimes perpetuate stereotypes or misrepresent people and concepts. I want to hear from you. What's the first image you're going to create for your classroom? Drop your ideas in the comments below. Let's inspire each other. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Tools for Educators and ring that bell so you never miss out on the next game-changing tool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.